The Rotten Center was established in 2002 to provide co-curricular programming and research opportunities for students and faculty that focus on international and global issues. The Rotten Center sponsors or co-sponsors lectures and symposia throughout the school year. They explore topics that can be discussed from multiple disciplinary perspectives in ways that both contribute to our international and global studies curriculum and connect our campus to the CV Star Middlebury Schools abroad. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be a research intern at the Rhodes Center because I've been able to work with two very different professors so far in different fields. I think the research internship has broadened my horizons into academic areas that I might not otherwise experience. Without that research support, faculty projects would have far less of the breadth and depth that they are able to have now. I've assisted in creating a food studies minor on campus by conducting research, and now, two or three years later, we finally are offering that minor. The role of the RSAB is to increase student involvement, create programming that we think students will be interested in that will bring them in and uh, increase awareness of global issues. Being an RSAB is a really good opportunity for students because it introduces you to other students who are interested in global affairs as well, but who also are studying perhaps different disciplines than you. I think it is really good at teaching you team building tools that you can kind of use for the rest of your life, how to work in a group and create a really meaningful product, whether that's a global reader or academic journal or assisting in creating a student-run conference. We planned a conference this year that was called Bodies at Borders, the Lived Effects of Settler Colonialism. It's a very global issue. And we had the idea that this was an important issue and we were like, how do we do something about this? It kind of gave us the opportunity to make the type of conference we would want to attend. We learned a lot about just managing people and planning an event, um, ordering catering and planning a space and kind of how we wanted the atmosphere to feel. One of the things I learned is that it's easy to get bogged down in all of the details and stress that comes with planning. And then after the conference, I realized people left feeling so affected. So every month we have a Hot Topics luncheon. These are opportunities that are only for students. It brings a professor in to spend a little bit of time talking about a subject and then really creating a discussion between students and the professor in a sort of more intimate environment. It's different from other lectures on campus because it's only for students. And so this allows a smaller environment to flesh out different topics. And it's always over some delicious food as well. I went to India for three months. Aman Jordan. I will be traveling to Chengdu, which is a city in the western part of China. For my comparative literature thesis, which is focusing on depictions of HIV in the Jordanian and the Chilean imaginaries. For my thesis on reclassifying India as a competitive authoritarianism as opposed to the democracy that it is classified as now. And I'll be talking with experts there about uh, Chengdu's urban housing policies and how it affects the urban poor there. My abilities to conduct these semi-structured interviews definitely improved through practice. You know, finding the right questions to ask and finding ways to ask them that are culturally sensitive and culturally thought about. It's really cool as an undergraduate to have the opportunity to do this kind of research. Grassroots organization and, and campaign management is probably what I'm planning on doing once I graduate. I'm hoping to return there and just be a useful and a thoughtful, you know, actor. So we see our role as being an epicenter of international and global programming and research. Global, international, and interdisciplinary by design. 